Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing an experiment on hot and cold things and how it'll affect our weather. My name is Phil and today you're in my space but the good thing about what we'll do today is that you can do this at home with some help as well. You can explore something that has a big impact on our earth and how it works. You see, what we have surrounding Earth is a nice warm blanket called our atmosphere. And this is linked to the greenhouse effect, which is a good thing, keeps us at the right temperature. See, Earth is in what's called a Goldilocks zone. It's not too hot, it's not too cold, it's just right for life as we know it. And the reason why that is is because Earth absorbs heat from the sun. So us on this planet, we absorb heat from the sun and our atmosphere keeps us at the right temperature. If we make that blanket too hot, or we trap too much air in it, we get a bigger temperature difference that makes things move around a bit quicker, like water currents or wind. So I'm just gonna put this for safekeeping. Someone's totally gonna catch that. Fine, we're fine. So what we're gonna do is look at something here about things that are hot and cold. And what we've got here is two containers with cold liquid, and I've got two containers with Warm liquid. It doesn't have to be boiling, just has to be warm. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some blue food coloring to each of the cold ones, which looks quite nice. Next, the hot ones, and I've got some orange food coloring for this. So I'm going to take some orange food coloring here. So we've got two that are cold with blue and two that are hot with orange. And so I'm going to try and take one of these and flip it upside down on top of them totally safely. This is the bit that you might need some help with. Um, these plastic things are something that was an old cover that it was going to be thrown out, so I managed to save it a little bit. So what I'm going to try and do now is flip this upside down and put it on top of the other one. And we're now going to try and slide this. Now you might spill a little bit, but that's okay. What do you think is gonna happen when I pull out this plastic bit in between the two? Hot liquid, cold liquid. Have a think, make a prediction. Let's do some bubbles. Aha, so what's happening? Ooh, look at this. So the hot is mixing up with the cold, so we're getting the whole thing mixing up and around. Now this is happening because things that are hot are less dense and they're lighter than things that are cold. So you get this movement, the hot wants to go up, the cold goes down, you get this movement of water going around. The same way that if you put your hand over a radiator, you feel the heat rising without touching it. Hot stuff wants to go up because it's lighter. So this time what we're gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and flip the liquids around in opposite direction. Blue is cold, red is hot. So this time what we're gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and put this on top of that. Are you ready? So same thing again. This again, it might be something that you want help with. So three, two, one. There you go. And then I'm gonna try and slide this on really here, nice and easy. Ah. I could do this, I could try it. There we go, fantastic. So this time, what do you think's gonna happen this time? So we've got the cold water on the bottom and the hot on the top. What do we think's gonna happen? We give it a try? We'll give it a try. Okay, so I'm gonna try and pull this out here nice and easy. Again, ask for help if you need it. You will probably. Uh, uh. Ah, okay, it's out, it's out, it's out, it's out, and steady. So, what's happening this time? Nothing, really, in this, happening this time. The cold water wants to stay down the bottom and the hot water wants to go up. So what's happening here now this time is that they stay separate. So we have the cold on the bottom and the hot on the top and they're not mixing. They're doing everything they should be doing. They're staying in isolation from each other. So when the hot was at the bottom, it flew up mixed with the cold. Whereas with this one, the cold wants to stay at the bottom and the hot wants to stay at the top. So they stay separate in the very middle bit you might see a little bit of mixing. And over time, as the temperature of the cold gets warmer and the temperature of the hot gets cooler, they'll get around to be the same temperature and then they might start to mix a bit more. But for right now, 
They're staying separate. And we have another little way that we're going to try it with a split tank. So I've got a, a tank that holds about eight litres of water in total, and there's a little bit of a, a slider in between. And what we're going to do is we're going to put liquid in each side. So this is liquid I have, which is hot. So I'm going to pour in the cold water on this side and the hot water on this side. So we're going to pour in here. Remember, orange is hot and blue is cold. Okay, so we got there. So not actually eight liters, but you know, roughly around the same. Now, we've got our warm on this side. You can put my hand on it. Again, it doesn't have to be boiling, it just has to be warm. I can feel it there, it's warm. This side, the blue is cold, can feel it. And in the middle, I've got that divider that goes down all the way down here. And I'm gonna lift that up so they can hit each other. So what do you think is going to happen? You ready? Have you made your predictions? You ready? I've never done this before, so I don't know. Three, two, one. Okay, so we've lifted up. Ooh. Is it mixing all the way together? What's kind of happening? Oh, it's kind of settling down. It's moving up and down. So where is the hot liquid? It's... Looking like it's kind of staying on the top, similar to what happened with one of the other ones earlier on. And the cold, the blue, seems to be kind of down the bottom. So we're getting a layer, we're getting a difference, we're getting currents. And this is actually what happens in the ocean, what happens in our atmosphere, in the sky. You get different layers of hot and cold air, hot and cold water, and this is what makes currents flow and move around our planet. You might have heard the word currents when you think about rivers or air currents or even in the ocean. This is exactly what happens. And the more that we thicken our blanket of our atmosphere, we put like, dirty stuff in our atmosphere, it makes us absorb more heat into our atmosphere. And there's something called the Gulf Stream, which keeps Ireland nice and warm in winter and pretty cool in the summer. And if that shifts or changes because of what happens in our atmosphere, that changes what the weather is like. And that's exactly what climate changes. So we need to look at these type of things, be careful about them, but know about them, learn about them. Simple experiments like this demonstrate what's happening in our oceans, what's happening in our atmosphere, and something we did on our table and you can do at home. Even a small glass retin can actually simulate what's happening in the world. Try some stuff out and then send us in. I'd love to see your versions of this, even with like small glasses or different colors or temperature differences. Go to www.rte.ie forward slash learn. Go try it, have some fun.